If you have any queries, you can ask me. Yes. Okay. Let me give you the right to speak first. Yes. Please explain illustration 9. Okay. So let me take the question number illustration 9. Okay. Illustration 9 let me take. I think this is the question you have, right? Illustration 9. Is it? How many terms of the series 24, 20, 16? Is it? Total 72. Okay. Let me take the question first. You know, you can see that. Uh, I've taken in the third slide, the third page, illustration mine. How many terms of the series 24, 20, 16? You know, total 72. So, uh, first of all, you know, you need to check uh, whether it is an AP or not. This is a very important thing. So let me check whether it is an AP. 20 minus 24, is it? It is minus 4, right. 16 minus 20, okay, which is minus 4. This is an AP, okay, this is an AP. So we have A is equal to 24. We have D is equal to, you know, minus 4, as I have told you. How many terms that totals? When you say totals, this is a very important thing, totals. This means we are talking about the sum part, right. So that means we know the formula for sum. Okay, let me write the sum formula n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay. So sum to n terms. So you have been given the sum, right? Sum is 72. We have to find the number of terms. That is n. As I told you, n is nothing but the number of terms. We substitute. We write 72. We take n n need to be found out. So n by 2, we have 2 times a is how much? 24 plus n minus 1 into minus 4. Right. This is how we write it. Okay. So fine. So I hope uh, you have understood the thing. Yeah, I have how I have substituted, right? The 72. So 72, we can cross multiply. We can write it as n times 48 minus 4n plus 4 equals to, you know, 144, right? So, we can take it, uh, you know, forward now. We can write 48 plus 4. This is 52 minus 4n, right? Which is 144. I can write it as minus 4n square plus 52n is equal to 144, right? You can see the steps, huh? So I'm just writing the steps again. This is the step number one. I have taken all those uh, step number one. I have introduced the formula step number two. I have written, I have substituted all the possible things given to us. And we get a quadratic equation, which is coming out to be 4n square minus 52n, okay, plus 144. So we can solve this quadratic equation. I think if we solve it, we'll get around n is equal to nine. So quadratic equation, solving quadratic equation is a very easy job. I know, I uh, I think you all know how to solve it. So you can solve the quadratic equation using the factorization method or maybe the discriminant method, right? Okay, so I hope uh, this question is clear to you. Great, great. Great. Okay, great. So, uh, uh, students, I hope uh, this particular concept is clear to you and sum to n terms. The illustration I have taken, it is clear. Is it? Great, 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 great. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, once we do the uh, theory part and we have come, uh, taken one example also, we have taken your query also. Let, let me give you a problem. Uh, this is a question from my polling, uh, you know, we have a system called polling where I will be set, uh, publishing a question for you and you need to solve it, right? So I'm publishing for you. You need to solve it. Okay, let me give you. Okay, this is a question I have, students. 
you know, find the sum of 20 terms in the sequence 1, 4, 7, 10. Okay. Right. Answer is you have given the answer. Let me option two. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think the answer is 590. So you can just check it out. The option is A is correct, not 580. Maybe you have done some calculation mistake, you need to work on that. Okay? No issues. Fine. So it's a very, very careful about the calculation part, Nitikya, because you know the calculation plays a very vital role. And you have very less time in your examination, you know. So you have to be very, very careful. You need to practice a lot. Okay. So I hope uh, you know this. Uh, uh, you know, practice, practicing, and uh, you know, taking care of your mistakes always helps. It's a learning process, right? It's a learning curve. Okay. So you do mistake, you learn from that. Okay, then the next test, you should not repeat that. Okay, Chala, that's great. Great. So let me end the poll. Okay. <laughs>